fun does this sound? Kids will soon be able to color their own sun, make solar powered jewelry, and learn how to protect their eyes in the daytime at an upcoming Solar Sunday event. And here to tell us all about it is Jim, Jim Greenhouse, Space Science Director for the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in this morning and bringing all your, your gadgets. <laughs> Before we get to this first, just sure. tell us a little bit about the uh, Solar Sunday. The Solar event. Sunday is happening this Sunday. It's from 10 to 2 o'clock at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. And this is a great day to come to the museum because not only do you get to uh, see all the exhibits and planetarium shows and Dyna Theater programs, but everything that I'm going to talk about with Solar Sunday is included. So, if is it you, outdoorsy or outdoors? I mean, part of it is outside and part okay. of it is inside. Cool. Um, so, if you buy admission to either the museum or the planetarium, you get everything included with Solar Sunday. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. And just some of the things that you brought here today. Um, so much fun. So, right. what do we have here? Let's start with this sun sunspotter. Spotter. Right. Yeah. This is probably the least sophisticated way that we're going to be looking at the sun. We actually have many uh, solar telescopes that we're going to be using. Okay. This particular one is uh, probably the easiest to transport, um, but what you do is uh, basically point it at the sun and there's a little platform uh, down yeah. here on the bottom and mm -hmm. you get to see what uh, an image of the sun there. So if there's any sunspots on the sun, you get to see those. Oh. But we'll actually have other ways of looking at the sun okay. as well. We have uh, specially filtered telescopes that can actually show you flares and prominences and filaments and other uh, features of the sun, and that's going to be happening in our observatory. This is cool. So whenever the transit of Ven uh, was it transit Venus, Venus? Yeah. Right, yeah. happened, would, is this something that this you would have seen? In this was one of many ways in which you could have seen uh, it, yes. Okay. That's very neat. So you can see actual sunspots, and then there's right. all the other stuff that you're talking about, solar flares. Right. And and uh, lots of other features on the sun, mm -hmm. but we also have a way that you can uh, find out about the power of the sun. Yes. And I have, uh, am going to get you to make a solar bracelet. Okay. So um, take that. Uh, a little twist, twisty yeah, tie thing here. And then here. pull one of each of those uh, beads out of uh, each of those containers and feed them through there. Okay. And make yourself a bracelet. And you may be wondering why I was having you make such a plain looking bracelet, but whenever yeah, you get it put together. Yeah, plain old white here. <laughs> we'll uh, show you what it does. Uh, while you're getting that yes. put together, I'll also talk more. about we uh, are going to let you make a, a pocket sundial. Mm -hmm. um, you start off with a piece of paper like this, and we'll show you how to put everything together so that uh, you can make your own sundial. Okay. And uh, we'll also be uh, talking about the uh, power of the sun um, and how it uh, changes during the year and how the seasons change. And oh, uh, show you how the sun looks. This is a perfect uh, timing for that. That it, it really is. With right. the equinox happening tomorrow. So. Um, okay. So then, I'm getting here. I'm sorry. I'm right, spilling beans okay. everywhere. <laughs> so it looks kind of plain and white. So this is the general. So things. since we're uh, inside right now, okay. I got brought a little portable sun. Okay. Um, so this is ultraviolet light uh, coming out of this flashlight, oh, look at that. which is just one of the many forms of energy that you get oh, from the sun. Oh, that's so cool! And when you go out in the sunlight with your bracelet, it actually changes all these different colors. Look at that! It's pink. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move it. Sorry about that, <laughs> photographer. Okay, here we go, Josh. So that's one of here the. Many exciting Look and fun cool things that, that you'll be able to do during Solar Sunday. Um, we'll also be there with ABC Libraries. They'll be talking about uh, all the programs that they have coming up. Uh, the UNM Meteoritics Institute will uh, have some rocks from outer space that you can look at. No way. And that also like the Albuquerque too. Astronomical Society will be bringing some of their telescopes. They have lots of different telescopes for looking at the sun as well, and they'll be talking about their programs. Perfect. And we should see a lot of sunshine Sunday too, so it'll be a good day. That's for that's the event. great. I'm I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming Thank in. Thank you sharing this information uh, with us. And don't forget, go to our website, casa.com, click on the CASA blog, you get details on how you can have, uh, attend the solar event happening this Sunday. And it's going to be a fun one. This bracelet's so cool. I'm going to have to keep <laughs> going with this.